Hi guys, welcome back to SHK Excel World. I'm Salim Heather, and today we are talking about a little bit about the financial models. So many times people ask me as to how much they can earn if they are advanced user of Excel and its tools. So a simple answer to it is if you only know how to work in Excel and you know its tools as well, then you may earn in thousands. But if you know the business for which you are preparing a financial model or a solution like the supply chain of that business, like the taxes applicable to that business and different other aspects, then you may also charge millions to your client. So please, in addition to knowing how to work in Excel efficiently, you should also increase your knowledge about different business sectors like the health, education, real estate and so on. So today's topic is also related to how you can incorporate complex tax calculations in your financial model and how you have to arrange your data for implementing the different combination of formulas like the index, match and if error formulas to get the best and most accurate result. So before moving on to our exercise, do not forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World and also click the bell icon. So let us go to the computer screen and see what situation we have and how we will arrange a particular formula for an accurate tax calculation. So guys, you can download this file from the link given below in the description and follow along. And this is the typical example of how taxes are calculated anywhere in the world. First, you have to calculate the taxable amount and then you have to calculate the tax amount. So in this question, we are uh, talking about how taxes are calculated in Pakistan on capital gains on sale of immobile property and we are given two slabs first one is the holding period how uh, how longer you have held the property before selling it and the second one is what the tax rate should be on whatever the taxable capital gain you have calculated so we are given the purchase price and then the purchase date and we are given the sale date and the sale amount and we get some gross capital gain from which we have to calculate the taxable capital gain. So as we know that the holding period has a bearing on how much should be added into your taxable income. If you have held the property for more than 4 years then the total capital gain is exempt from tax. But for a shorter period the capital gains are taxable on the basis of different slabs. For example, for up to one year holding period, 100% of your capital gain is taxable. Once we have the taxable capital gain amount, then we will go on to the second table where we will uh, look for the tax rate applicable. So if your taxable capital gain is up to 5 million as calculated previously, then your tax rate is 3.5% and if it is up to 10 million then it is 7.5% if it is up to uh, 15 million then it is 10% and if it is beyond 15 million then it is 15% of your taxable capital gain. So these are the two uh, tables which are applicable and which you have to incorporate in your financial model so that you get the accurate tax expense for that particular business. So we know that first we have to calculate the holding period of that property and we can calculate this by subtracting the purchase date from the sale date equal to your sale date minus your purchase date divided by 365 so you will have an estimated 2.16 years uh, of holding period. And now you have to calculate the percentage of taxable capital gain. So we have this table and uh, one way of doing this is to use the nested ifs. But nested ifs can become very much complex and may make your file heavier if you are talking about the financial model of like, let's say 15 years or 20 years. So here we can calculate 
the taxable capital gain using the match formula. So match formula is very effective when it comes to the approximate matches. So we, here we have to uh, talk about the approximate matches. Equal to match and we are looking for a numerical value of 2.16 years and we can give the range for this uh, years column but we cannot include the text because we are looking for a numerical value I will tell you later as to how you are going to cater for this particular scenario so let us uh, continue press comma and last we have to give the match uh, type either it's an exact match you have to press zero and if it is an approximate match then there are two options we have to focus on the wording of the law. So here the law says that it is up to one year. So means, for example, for up to one year means that one year is also uh, included in this particular calculation. So for one year, it's 100%. For up to two years means greater than one year and less than two years and equal to two years, you will use the 75% calculation. So for this particular calculation, you will use minus one, which is greater than. So for this type of match, your lookup table should be uh, sorted in descending order, just like this. So it starts with four year and three years, two years, one year. And bracket close. So it says that it is the second row in your array. So let us see, it is 2.16 greater than 2, but up to 3 years. So for 3 years, it's 50% and it says that yes, it is the second item. So uh, we have got the result. Now we can use the index formula. So for calculating uh, the percentage or identifying the percentage, we can copy this complete formula other than the equal to sign. And here we are going to write the index formula equal to index and we are going to give the array. This is our array and again you should not include the first one and we will later on see how we can cater for this one. Press comma and for the row number we have already calculated the row number and we have copied the match formula and just paste it here. and we want the results of the second column. So press 2 and press back and close and enter. So here we have the percentage. For approximate match, we have the percentage with us. So for just checking purposes, I'm going to punch a figure here. It's Let's say it's two years, exactly two years. So for up to two years, it has correctly identified 75% because beyond that, it will be 50%. And if I write 1.99, then again it is 75% because it is greater than one year but less than two years. And if I write 2.01, then it goes on to the next lab and will give us the relevant percentage which is 50%. So, so far our calculation is perfect. But what if I write here 4.01 means greater than 4 because our slabs are up to four years and the match type also calculates up to four years not beyond that so if it is if the holding period is more than four years it should give zero percent so for this particular error what we can do is we can use the help of if error formula and open this formula start here as if error and bracket start and at the end we can write if there is an error, it should give us the zero value or the zero percentage and press enter. So we have the formula worked out pretty well. And delete this one. We can copy this one formula for calculation of dynamic calculation of a period. And now we can calculate the effective gain, which is taxable percentage into the gross capital gain. And we have the amount. Now we can, you know, on the same basis, we can calculate the effective tax rate first. So equal to match. And we have to look up this value in this array. So this is our array. And again for the match type, use minus one because 
or tech slabs are up to a certain amount. So the right minus one and bracket close. And here it says that the slab is first one. So this is the first one which is 15 million. So up to 15 million it is 10 percent. So now we can use the index match function so that it returns uh, the percentage. So copy the complete match formula and go here write index and for array we are going to give this array other than the last one and for the row number we can insert the match formula we just calculated and for the column number we want to have the value from the second column and bracket close so this is our percentage but what if the taxable capital gain is more than 15 million for this what we can do is we can increase the sale price to let's say 52 million so it gives an error quite rightly because it does not know any uh, slab beyond 15 million so again we can use the help of if error so if there is an error it should give us the 15 percent tax rate and bracket close and we here we have the 15 percent now so now we can easily calculate the tax amount equal to the taxable capital gain into the tax amount and press enter so here we have the tax amount so i have broken this complex calculation into a number of steps so whenever you are confronted with a complex calculation scenario you first divide all of those into small steps right formula then you can easily combine all of these formulas into a single formula so this was one scenario where the law said that your calculation level is up to a certain level like you talked about the holding period is up up to this this much year so coming on to the second scenario where your law says that your criteria is equal to or greater than a certain level so previous one was less than or equal to a certain level now it is equal to or greater than a certain level so for this type you have to arrange your criteria tables in ascending order so this is a must otherwise you will not get accurate tax calculations so first we have to calculate the period i will later on demonstrate uh, all of this one equal to so your sale date minus your purchase rate divided by 365 you will get 2.16 years and then you have to calculate the effective uh, gain percentage so let us quickly apply the match formula equal to match lookup value and we will give all of these ranges because there is nothing that is in text all of this is a numerical value and for the match type we have to give one so if you write one here the match formula is going to look for a value which is a largest value which is less than or equal to your lookup value so it is lookup value is 2.16 the largest value which is lower than this one or equal to this one is 2 so so this uh, two row number will be applicable and we'll get the 50% result so close the match type and press enter so it is the third one copy the match formula so go to this one apply index formula give the array so this is our array and for the row number paste the match formula and we need to have this uh, values from the second column and bracket close and press enter so we have the 50 percent amount so we discussed in our previous example that if the holding period was beyond four years there was an error so in this case there won't be any error so why is it so so let us discuss this one first if your holding period is equal to or greater than zero so 100 percent uh, gain will be taxable if your holding period is equal to or greater than one year then 75 percent and so on 
and if your holding period is equal to or greater than 4 years then your capital gain will not be taxable so all of the values all of the possible values have been accounted for in this particular scenario but going on to our previous example it said that if your holding period is less than or equal to 1 years so it will be 100% uh, taxability and if it is equal to or less than 4 years because it was up to 4 years so it will be 25% so for writing something beyond 4 years it's infinity so for including infinity there was no possibility uh, for writing in the index formula or the match formula for that we use the help of if error but this is not the scenario with equal to or greater than so equal to or greater than uh, 4 years is infinity it can be included in this formula easily so now we can easily calculate the effective gain which is taxable by multiplying with the gross capital gain and now we can uh, use the same steps to know the tax rate index so this is our index and for the row number use the match formula match this capital gain taxable capital gain with any of these values and give us the less than match type return values from the second column press enter so since our capital gain is beyond 15 million it should be 15% and here we have our tax liability or the tax amount so we have discussed two scenarios one is where your law says that your criteria is up to a certain level so we arranged data in a different way and the other one was where the law says that your criteria is equal to greater than a certain level so we arranged the criteria table in a different way and then we used the combination of if error match and index formula in totally different ways in both of these scenarios so i hope whenever you encounter such difficult scenarios in your financial model this tutorial is going to help you and uh, do not forget to disaggregate your complex steps complex formulas into small steps so that you know as to what actually is happening inside your complex formula hope to see you in the next video but do not forget to subscribe to shk excel world and click on the bell icon see you in the next video